We're here in Dunedin Forest, County Kildare, which luckily enough for us is within our five kilometres. We're here today to talk about alternatives to pesticides. So what's a pesticide? It's a substance or mixture of substances intended for preventing, destroying, repelling or mitigating any pests. It's an umbrella term for herbicides, fungicides and any other substance used to control pests. But why are they called pesticides? Because they push those pests aside. Pesticides might improve crop yield and productivity, but they can also deteriorate the environment in the long term, contaminating groundwater, soil and its fertility, and even the air. They can harm other beneficial soil organisms, plants and insects, and can be toxic to animals like birds and fish. Therefore, EU legislation regulates the use of pesticides and encourages the use of alternatives to pesticides. Mother Nature doesn't use any pesticides, as you can see here in Dunedin Forest where they've started planting a new crop of trees, using companion planting and making use of the natural predators in the environment. Some predators act as natural pesticides by killing off pests in your garden, so it can be really beneficial to encourage these predators to visit your garden if you can. We all know that ladybirds are excellent insects to have in your garden because they're natural predators of aphids and caterpillars. It's likely that if you have aphids in your garden, then the ladybirds will be drawn to your garden as a food source. If you want to encourage a few more of them to stay around, you can try planting lavender, chives and parsley. Hedgehogs are also excellent natural predators of snails, slugs and other garden pests. If you notice a hedgehog visiting your garden, you can encourage them to stay close by leaving out cat food or dog food. You can also designate a section of your garden for hedgehogs with tree stumps, logs and wildflowers. Hoverfly are often overlooked as being useful insects in gardens, but really they are excellent pollinators as well as being natural predators to mites and aphids. If you want to encourage a few more hoverflies to pop by your garden, you can try planting cow's parsley, fennel and dill. Finally, frogs and toads. They are natural predators of slugs. They are harmed by the use of pesticides, but if you leave them alone, they can do the job for you without any of the harmful chemicals. Frogs are attracted to garden ponds and damp habitats such as log piles. Commonly used pesticides often contain pyrethroids and neonicotinoids, however these often have a negative impact on beneficial insects such as bees. For example, soaps diluted to less than 2% can be used in gardens. Household soaps may often suffice, however some sensitive plants like cherry trees may find these too harsh. Um, garden centres often have suitable soap sprays for these types of plants. Plant oils, although not viable on a large commercial scale, may be effective in controlling plants in small residential gardens. Examples include rosemary and eucalyptus oils. Sometimes no chemicals are needed at all. Physically brushing away caterpillar nests or washing pests off plants with a stream of water may do the trick. I'm standing here in a garden that is completely free of pesticides. Instead, what has been used is companion planting, making use of the natural predators in the environment and other soft chemicals. Companion planting is a great natural alternative to using pesticides. It involves placing plants strategically beside one another and it uses the natural properties of plants to repel certain insects and attract more beneficial ones. It also increases the range of biodiversity in your garden. So what are some examples of companion plants? Well garlic is a really great companion plant because it repels aphids which are your green fly, your black fly, your white fly, all of which are really common pests in Irish gardens. Garlic also repels carrot fly and acts as a natural fungicide to the late potato blight, so you can plant it near your spuds to keep them safe. If you want to plant some flowers in your gardens but don't want pesky pests ruining your efforts, you can try planting lavender and petunias. As well as looking and smelling fantastic, lavender repels moths, caterpillars, fleas and flies, and petunias repel aphids, leaf hoppers and squash bugs. You're Mila Margaret for listening everyone. Hope you learned something about how to use alternatives to pesticides. Don't be afraid to get outside and make Ireland healthier. Slan! Slan.